Huygens' principle is a bit of a mouthful, but really all it is is a simple geometrical method to construct the new wavefront at a later time delta t if you know the wavefront now. And that's what it's trying to say. It says that all points of a wavefront act as a point source for circular waves that are going to expand and create the new wavefront. And the way that you find the new wavefront is by taking the unique surface tangent to all the forward propagating wavelets. And forward propagating is the key. So let's see if we can understand this. It says all the points of a wavefront. Here I have a plane wavefront and I only selected a few points because really there's an infinite number of them and I'm not going to draw them all. But let's see if we can understand how this works. Each point acts as a point source of circular waves that expand to create the new wavefront. That means that I'm going to draw a circular wave that expanded from this point. This point acts as a source for circular waves. The next one does too, of course. The next one does too, and so on and so forth. Each point of the wavefront acts as a source of circular waves. And my circles are not great, but bear with me because now I'm going to draw the new wavefront. And the new wavefront is the unique surface tangent to all the forward propagating wavelengths. Let's say that the wave is propagating to the right. Then forward propagating means going this way. And we want the surface that is tangent to all the forward propagating wavelengths. And therefore, it's going to be this. Now, it should be tangent to exactly all of them, but hey, my ugliest circle was this one, so no surprise. But that's the idea. This is your new wavefront. It's still a plane. Actually, it has no reason to have changed. But if I repeat this, I can figure out from the old wavefront what the new wavefront looks like. And it works for any wavefront. Take a circular or a spherical wavefront. Let's take a few points, not all of them, but a few of them just to get an idea and see that it works exactly the same way. This point, this one, this one, etc. They're all sources of circular waves. So I draw a circular wave around this one, circular wave around this one, around this one, around this one, and I hope you're better at drawing circles than I am. But if you'll forgive me, we'll understand how it works. We take the forward propagating wavelets. Let's say the wave was going this way while really expanding in every way like this because it's a spherical wave or a circular wave. And really, my new wave front is going to be this. It is a surface that is tangent here like this. And albeit somewhat imperfect, you get the idea. This is the new wave front. So that is all that the Huygens principle is trying to say. It allows you to construct the new wave front if you know the old one. And we're going to see that to get from a wave front like this one, for example, to some wave front like this, the wave can be diffracted and then you go from this type of wavefront to more of a circular or spherical wavefront.